it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be doing a bronze glowy summer just a makeup look I'm really obsessed with this look this might be one of my favorite looks that I've done this summer I love how natural but just like glowy but also like fun and I don't know I just really like this especially just with the outfit kind of with like the little bandana the pink and the blue I really like it so if you guys want to see how I got this look and how we gonna be popping all summer 2020 even though we in the house and that's fine uh, please keep watching okay ew <laughs> Okay, so let's get to glowing. So first I want to start off by moisturizing my face. For that, I'm going to be using the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF. Y'all know this is just my favorite moisturizer right now. I've been using for a while, so. And then right after that, I like to go in with my jojoba oil. I just fill it up a little and I do two drops on my face and that should cover the whole face this is from ancient cosmetics i love this one and it's been lasting me i'm dragging the oil also down to my neck i did put a little bit much but i do still like to drag it down okay. to my neck okay so today what i want to do different well first i'm going to apply my elf um Poreless Putty Primer. I've been really liking this and enjoying it. That was a little too much, but I'm gonna just, I put it in like five spots on my face. Then I rub it in. So next I'm gonna go in with this Ulta Beauty Liquid Illuminator in, I believe it's called Bright Lights. Um, it has vitamin E, sunflower seed oil. I've used this a couple times. I only used this a few times. I'm not totally into liquid illuminators, but I want to see what it does. It does give some type of like goldenish glow to the skin, but yeah. So time for foundation now that the skin is prepped, basically. So I'm going to go in with the Uma... The Oma Beauty um, Say What Foundation, it's weightless, soft, matte. I tried this in my Bomb Challenge makeup video, black on makeup brand video, and I really liked it. Um, with this foundation, I really like to take a beauty blender and go in and apply it. But I really like this foundation. It is full coverage and also just not heavy on your skin whatsoever. I would totally give this a try. I mean, yeah... It could be considered more on the expensive side, but I, I really like this foundation. I'm happy I was able to get my hands on it when I did. So, I'm going to put it over my eyelid. I don't do this all the time, but I'm just going to put it over my eyelid. I'm really liking how the combo that I did for my skincare, which was a little bit different than normal, I'm really liking how that's looking with this foundation. I'm very, I'm pleasantly surprised. This does not look bad with it whatsoever. Like, I feel like it kind of evens it out. Like, I don't know, it looks good. Like, I do feel like I look a little more glowy than I do, than I normally do, but like, that's what I wanted, that more like glowy bronzed look you know so next i'm going to go into my juvia's place um i magic concealer in shade 18 i did a review on this a year ago or over a year ago when it came out and i'm still enjoying it now so i i do like it i took a break from using it for a while, I took a break from makeup in general, but I really took a break from using this. And then I started to again because I was running out of my other concealers, and she's not bad. I don't, I don't know. I kind of want, I'm going to definitely purchase it again. I just don't know when, but I'm literally like running out of concealer. I'm really liking how this um, combo works for my skin, actually. I'm very surprised right now. This is all looking very, very good. 
especially in person, it's just looking very just skin-like with the moisturizer, the um, jojoba oil, the primer, and the liquid illuminator. Like, it's looking very good. Okay, so now we're gonna bake. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me powder in 20. The shade is light medium. I put it in the cap, and I'll take it just with my Beauty Blender, and I'll kind of put it on. I like how this doesn't, it kind of sets my makeup, but it's not like too crazy. Like the highlight isn't too insane. Because it's just about, not. it's not my foundation shade, but it's not like a translucent powder. But I actually really like it. So... So I'm going to cream contour today and for cream contour I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. Matchstick's in shade Truffle so I am going over the areas I did not powder and I'm applying it. Speaking of Fenty Beauty, Rihanna is dropping her skin line Fenty Skin and I really want to try it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it the first drop but I definitely want to try it out like for like a week or so and give it a in-depth review. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my hands on it when it comes out in a few days. But we'll definitely see. I've, been, I've seen some reviews. I've kind of seen mixed reviews on it. But I'm not sure. I'm, I'm quite intrigued by it though. Um, I'm, I'm, I am, I have to say, I am quite intrigued with what Riri has in store for Fenty Skin. Because the girl has flawless skin, I mean. Why wouldn't I be? I'm going to move into the eyes really quickly. So... We're going for a bronzy look. So I kind of want to go in with the shade Ginger in the Jackie Ina palette. And I want to put that kind of as my crease shade. I'm using just this. It's like a smaller crease brush. Um, and I'm packing the color on first and then I'm blending it. I like to use my concealer as my eyeshadow palette primer rather than like a regular primer I'm not sure I've just been used to that for so long and I really didn't find much of a difference when it came to regular eyeshadows and um like using concealer or primer so that's my thing I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild brush now and I want to take the shade credit which is like a deeper burgundy brown and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner but really kind of fanning it out so we know it's there but it's nothing too intense it's just extremely seamless and natural bronzy looking you know what I mean like I feel like it's just I'm packing it on and then I blend out as well as I kind of go my eyebrows are looking very thin right now I'm gonna take my pencil and kind of go over them a bit it happens sometimes when I put my foundation on but yeah I like the way this eye looks I think I'm gonna use the same palette I'm gonna go into the shade Zam and that's gonna be like my crease shade but it's kind of gonna be like a half cut crease if you see what I mean and it looks just like such a naturally pretty shimmer oh my god the way oh the way that looks like in the light when you just move this is one of the best glitter eyeshadows I've ever used like this shade in the Jackie Hanna palette like I'm so happy I I was able to be gifted this palette because well I think I'm going to leave the eyes like this for now and then I'm going to go back in and work on the inner corner and everything but this is just the quick really cute and pretty um, bronzy look right now so I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then go back in to the eyes. So for bronzer I like to go into my Kylie bronzer this is the Kylie Cosmetics bronzer. By Kylie Jenner it's in shade Tawny Mommy and I just like to take a angled brush angled face brush and I like to just go in where I like to contour and bronze and just make myself a bronzed queen oh I like the way this eyebrow is looking and the tail and everything wow you go girl so after that, I like to take just like a big fluffy brush 
and I still have that powder under my eyes so I like to wipe it away while also blending in the bronzer and then I like to go in and like fix any imperfections that I may have done um, but now I'm gonna just take excess bronzer and I'm gonna just kind of put that on my nose I don't do any intense like nose contour because a I really don't know how to be I just don't find it necessary but I definitely do like to have some bronzer on my nose that is for sure so yeah and kind of when I go in and fix my bronzer I like to just take a little bit on the brush and I kind of like pat on it kind of like so I kind of even put some all over and then I go back in with my fluffy brush it's a process you know powder is wiped away we are bronzed and contoured up. So now it's time for highlight. So for highlight, I want to use this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in shade High Five. I was literally going to say shade Pearl Eyes. Like, girl, that is the type of finish it is. But I'm going to kind of take that. It has like a pinky undertone to it. But we're going to be a little more intense, so I'm going to take the Artist Couture X Jackie Ina collaboration in shade La Peach. I love the shade and this loose highlighter, and I'm putting that right on top of that ColourPop shade. Wow. Wow. I like to go in afterwards with that bronzer brush that I use to kind of, you know, make sure that... The highlight isn't too intense, but just right. So for mascara, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm going to just put it on the top lashes. And we're not going to be having any falsies today. But I like the way this mascara um, coats my lashes and makes them look. I really do. So I feel like it's just like really soft and pretty it's nothing too intense and I, I like that especially for this look so I'm gonna take this ColourPop cream gel liner in shade swerve it's black and I'm gonna apply that in my in my waterline and I'm only gonna apply halfway just like that I don't know that's just been my thing lately I'm going to take this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush and I am going to take the shade Ginger and Credit and mix them a bit and apply that onto my lower lash line as well. Add a little bit of color so I want to take my ColourPop Volumizing Mascara, the BFF Mascara, and shade Kiss and Teal and it's like this really teal shade and I want to apply that to my lower lash line. I don't know, I like to like add a little bit of fun to like these natural or like more bronzy looks I don't know that's just how I am you don't have to but I like her like that so now we're gonna move into our lips so for lips take my favorite liner which is the color the Shayla X ColourPop Libby pencil in shade BFF4 I just love how creamy it is and just Amazing. I'm gonna take this Lorac Los Angeles lipstick, Ultra Ego lipstick in shade Foodie. It's a satin finish, and I'm gonna apply that into the middle or the center. I sometimes like to go over with my lip liner. And last but not least, I like to take this e.l.f. Jet Black Liner and just intensify my beauty marks. So, boom, boom, and I kind of leave them like so to dry. Sometimes I apply powder over them, but I didn't, I didn't really mess up on them tonight, so I don't think that I need to, but... That is it for this glowy, just bronzed summer look. I really love it, especially the eyes with the add of the teal um, onto the lower 
lashes i just think it kind of brings everything together makes everything so freaking pretty i forgot to add my inner corner highlight hold on i'm gonna go back into the jackie Ina palette from anastasia beverly hills and i'm going to just take the shade soleil i believe that's what it's called and i'm applying that onto the inner corner duh nikki how could you forget anyways still loving the eyes i just i really like this look um and i'm really happy with it tell me what you guys think down below but this is my video for this makeup look let me know what you guys think if you guys tried it um and don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye Thank you.